I was thinking today we would talk a little bit about what happened with my bees, why I think uh, they didn't survive the winter. I would say that my bees uh, struggled more with a human error than they did anything else. Uh, I was thinking maybe it was that for Micah Pro stuff that we used because I know a lot of other people were having problems with it. But after going through the hive and checking it out, uh, I noticed just a couple of hive beetles in there. Uh, and I noticed there was some mite pressure, but it wasn't a ridiculous amount of mites. So I'm thinking that the problem was more human error than anything else. So the bottom one looks pretty much used up like they got through those resources and were moving their way up into the second box throughout the winter and I actually saw them all the way up in the very top uh, layer in that little uh, Vivaldi box that I put on there in the winter so I know they made it quite far uh, I think we were pretty close actually to getting them over winter uh, I look down in here I don't see a lot of varroa mites I do see some there are definitely some mites in here but I'm not seeing like an overabundance of them I do see a couple hive beetles Got the hive butler full. I'm gonna move that inside. I got another box over here full. I'm gonna move that inside till I can spin it. I'm probably gonna just take this box out of the equation for this year, the one that they're all in right now. And I'll put the old one on there that has some more resources in it. And then I think I'll be putting this box back on top of it so they can go upward right away. Cause last year I did have that swarm problem. I don't want that again. So I think that's mostly my plan as of right now. <laughs> so. I gotta breeze through this because it is time to go pick up those bees before it starts downpouring on us tonight. And I just wanna get this done so I can have them in here ready to go and uh, have this season underway. Ooh, it's time to pick up the new nook. Oh. 
So now the human error that I made was that I left my hive too big. From what I could see, they were kind of scattered a little bit, and then I ended up putting that sugar at the very top, and they actually got up into there. They were using it, uh, so it took them a while to get up there, get that stuff there, bringing it back down. They were doing everything they, they needed to do. The problem is that you probably saw when I was taking this apart, is that I had way too many boxes, and that's because I didn't really know how much they were gonna need. I thought, oh, if I give them a lot of honey, they'll be okay. Uh, turns out that was a big mistake. Really, it would have been better and smarter to take a couple of those boxes away and let them use what they had, because uh, when I did take them off, I had a lot of honey that they never even got to. So, human air, and I feel terrible about it. It's like the worst feeling ever. Now, as a rookie beekeeper, you don't expect some kind of, uh, you know, errors and problems, things that you're just uh, not ready for, unprepared for. So, I would say that hopefully this was just a learning curve, and I think we did everything right. We covered it in time. I think we got our uh, feed on there in time that they had extra stuff to do. I think the biggest problem was just condensing that space a little bit more for next year. Instead of trying to give them so much honey that they would, I thought they would be better off having a lot of honey. Uh, like I said, turns out I think that's big. basically what my problem was that I just gave them too much and too much space that they couldn't actually keep it warm enough. And with the pad in it, you know, it doesn't really do a ton. That little foam sheet of pad insulates it a little bit, but not a ton. All right, so I got finished prepping this because what I ended up doing was just pulling all these boxes out and I had to stack them back up somewhere <laughs> yesterday before I went and got the other hive because it was gonna rain. So now I gotta go through. I'm gonna take this one off because this one is probably gonna go back on. This one is not gonna go back on. And then this one is gonna be where we integrate the new nook into because they come in these mediums. I wish they came in the deep, but they come in the medium. I'm gonna give them space in here. And then up here, I have some honey and some drawn out comb in this uh, deep right here. And we'll put that on there also because last year when I did it, they swarmed on me super early because they didn't have enough space. And it's mostly because I didn't get out here in time to check it. We had a bunch of rain and we had a cold spell. And so this year, I don't want to make any mistakes. I'm going to give them enough space to kind of start off in case I can't get to them. Well, the bees are looking pretty active over the little uh, nook over there. So I think it's time. We're going to bring them over here, put them in here, and uh, get the season underway. So while the first year of beekeeping wasn't as much of a success as I had really hoped for, we had quite a few bumps and bruises along the way, but there is a big learning curve when it comes to beekeeping. And I think we made a lot of the mistakes that you could possibly make, and we learned a lot of really valuable lessons for going into the next season of beekeeping, which starts this year. One of the things that we had happen last year was that we had a swarm very early on. Our girls ran out of room very quickly, which is part of the plan of this year. I'm gonna have the box for the nook, which is the medium on bottom, and I'm putting that deep, hoping that they all will, you know, have enough room that if I can't get to checking them out right away in that first week or two, uh, that they will be able to expand uh, to meet their needs. Uh, without swarming on us like they did last year. Right. Now that we got our new hive set up already and the bees are in there, the queen went in, everything looks good. They. Uh, okay left us a lot of honey with all those boxes that we had from last year. So we will be spinning some honey. It will be our first time getting to actually harvest any of this honey that these bees made for us. So I have some uh, excitement about that, but I am pretty disappointed that I wasn't able to overwinter the bees. Go. That. 
but I've really enjoyed keeping the bees and I'm really, really looking forward to how well this season is going to go. I have very high expectations after all the things that we learned from last year. Yeah, it's on the water. All right, well, pretty successful night there. We got the bees. We still got a couple stragglers getting in and out of that box over there. Uh, but I did put it right in front of the hive so they know how to get over there. I saw the queen go in there. Uh, I think we're good. I think we are all set and uh, this season is now underway. I'm really excited. Hopefully we don't have the same human air that we had at the end of last season uh, this year. I've learned from my mistakes. I won't give them so much space over the winter and hopefully we just have a really good season this year we got the box on there like i said because last year i did have a swarm early on and i'm trying to avoid that because i don't want to have to recover get to a really good point like we were last year and we just didn't uh, get to harvest any uh last year we will get some of that honey from the winter uh, but we didn't get to harvest any in season so we're gonna try to make that happen but there we go we got the bees in it's off and away all right, that's all I got. <laughs> Remember to be bold, grow bold, and as always, see you guys in that very next video. Peace. All my ladies and me are out. <laughs>